हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अभिनव नेगी एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस सुपर एनिमेटेड सीरीज ग्राउंड जीरो सीरीज गाइस टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंसोलिडेशन टाइम इन सिंगल ड्रेनेज एंड डबल ड्रेनेज बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी टेल यू दैट व्हाट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन कॉम्पैक्शन एंड कंसोलिडेशन नाउ फ्रेंड्स कॉम्पैक्शन इज रिडक्शन ऑफ वॉल्यूम ड्यू टू reduction in air voids and consolidation is reduction in volume of soil due to reduction of the pore water pressure to be very precise excess pore water pressure now what is this excess pore water pressure suppose you can see this bottle the water when we are applying no load it is in hydrostatic condition the water here is in hydrostatic condition but when if i apply load on this water this will be in more pressure that is similarly when in soil when we apply the load external load the water comes more pressure than its own weight that is hydrostatic pressure that is that extra pressure is excess pore water pressure so if in a partially saturated soil if we apply the load then initially the air voids will be reduced and when all air voids are reduced theoretically we assume that all air voids are reduced then soil becomes saturated and then further application of load that means soil is saturated then all load is taken by the water and water comes in excess pore water pressure and starts dissipating out so water starts dissipating out that means reduction in volume that is consolidation now compaction is very instantaneous phenomena it occurs in a fraction of seconds but consolidation takes time the permeability of water is not like husain bolt it is very less 10 to the power minus 5 meter per second 10 to the power minus 7 meter per second and so so it takes time that mean that is why we are interested in finding the consolidation time how much 50% consolidation will happen in which much when what time how much seven time will take to consolidate soil 70% that is why we are interested in time here because it takes time compaction has nothing to do with time it is instantaneously now there is a very big myth among the students that whenever i ask them time required in double drainage as compared to single drainage they ask directly in double drainage time will be four times less or vice versa in single drainage time will be four times more it is not always correct yes i repeat it is not always correct let me tell you as shown in the figure you can see that there is single drainage means the water movement is only in one direction below maybe rock maybe any impermeable strata and double drainage means that water can move in both directions might be above is also some permeable material like sand and below also so double drainage means water can move both sides and single drainage means water can move only in single side now friends one more thing you should remember here or you should note down here that we are not considering the lateral movement of water only the vertical movement because always in every chapter we assume soil is semi infinite that means we are considering the depth has finite value area we are not considering always you have heard 3 meter clay 4 meter sand 5 meter is the water table you never have understood or you have never have seen that sand is for 100 meter square or 200 km square never so in that direction we are considering it to be infinite no change all change in vertical direction so in the single drainage as shown in the figure the water is going only in one side in double drainage water is going both sides now there is a formula that tv is equal to cv into t by d square now understand this formula tv is time factor that depends on degree of consolidation for 60% consolidation means 60% settlement has occurred of final settlement tv tv will be something for 70% tv will be something for 30% tv will be something tv it totally depends on degree of consolidation means for sand 30% for clay 30% for silt 30% for gravel 30% tv will be same it is only a function of u nothing else cv is coefficient of consolidation that is only a function of soil that means for clay 30% 50% consolidation 70% consolidation 90% consolidation cv will be same so tv depends only on degree of consolidation that is capital u cv only depends on soil d is the drainage path for single drainage if suppose soil thickness is h it will be h only for double drainage if the soil thickness is h it will be h by 2 now writing both the equations 
for writing the equation tv is equal to cv into t by d square for single drainage and double drainage both for both i am writing this blue formula is for single drainage and this orange formula is for double drainage now tv you understood cv understood d you understood small t is the time which time 30% 50% 70% consolidation 90% consolidation 62% consolidation which time this small t is the consolidation time for which you are writing tv if you are writing tv for 70% consolidation this small time small t is corresponding to 70% consolidation if tv you are writing for 90% consolidation this small t the time is for 90% consolidation now writing the formula the blue one for single drainage the orange one for double drainage and dividing both the formulas we get the time required in double drainage is t by 4 and usually you say the time required is one fourth of single drainage but if you closely see this it is not always correct it is correct when we are dividing one and two equation and tv is cancelling out cv is cancelling out d is cancelling out that means this formula that in double drainage the time required is t by 4 is only valid is only valid when tv and tv are cancelling cv and cv are cancelling depth is cancelling that means the time required is in double drainage is one fourth of single drainage when you are considering same soil that means cv is same when you are considering same thickness that means d is same when you are considering same degree of consolidation for 70% degree of consolidation for single range and 70% consolidation or double range. Then only TV, TV cancelling. So three things are required. This difference of four times or one fourth is only valid when same soil we are comparing, for same thickness we are comparing and for same degree of consolidation. Now one more thing I want to tell you. Suppose if I fill this with water, this glass, Suppose there is 30 ml water, water I am saying. If I put two holes or one hole, the amount of water that will come out from this glass, if I put one hole or two hole, amount of water that comes out of the glass will be same, that is 30 ml. When I put one hole, when I put one hole, it will take time. When I put two holes, it will be faster. The discharge is from two places. But total amount 30 ml, then 30 ml will go out. That means ultimate settlement is same. Irrespective of single drainage and double drainage for a particular stress. Ultimate settlement is same. In double drainage, it will take faster. That is the only difference. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Stay tuned for more such videos. Share this video for everyone. You can join me in my telegram group civil by Abhinav Sir. Thank you. Take care.